Alright, hello YouTube, this is, um, the Bob Knoosh, Jack Attack 99 here from Team Vortex. I'm showing you guys, um, a stack track, a horizontal stack tracker tutorial for MCPP. And this is what one looks like. This is just a small design. It can be plentifully bigger and much different. As you can see, it uses a lot more gold, obsidian, and diamonds. But that is because it is a different type of tracker. And it helps a lot. So, anyway, go ahead and show you guys how to make it. Back, and I'm going to show you guys how to make the stack tracker. The horizontal one. Alright, so... I'm just for des demonstrational purposes. I'm just gonna make it four diamond blocks. You can make it however many you want. It really does not matter. The more you have, the easier it is to um, shorten the the length of how far they are away. So since it's four wide, then I'm gonna be having to make it. I'm gonna say sixteen long. And, and it counts 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. But a lot of math goes in these stack trackers. And, oh, by the way, the gold block counts as 25 blocks also, so it's only 15 obsidian and then the gold block. And then, since this is the longest arm, longest arms, and this is the shortest arms, then this one has to go four shorter because there's four diamond blocks. So this one will be 11 obsidian. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Go block. Let's make sure it is correct. Oh. Yeah, that's correct. And then this one would be seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go block. And then this one has to be three. One, two, three. And if you really want, you can put one right here. Oh. One right here like this, but it's not really worth it. Anyway. After that, you just do the same thing for around the, the box. So... One, two, three. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That. Oh, wait, that's different. What the fuck? Oh, I see. And also, what you can do if you notice this pattern, there's three obsidian in between each one. So instead of counting, I can just one, two, three, and then fill in the rest. And there we go. So that's just these two arms. Track all. Oh, what the? What happened here? Oh, it's one too long. Not one. It's more than one. It's three too long. There we go, man. Let's see. Track on. Track on. Track on. Track on. Alright, we got it. So that's just those arms, and then to make the other ones, you just place go block there, go block there, because these are already the longest ones, I mean the shortest ones, and then you just continue it this way. Back, and I'm going to show you guys how to use the tracker. This might be a little confusing, but as I said, the use of a stack tracker is to minimize the distance faster instead of having to move the little block you can just track all and then you move one block track all 
and it see it just minimized it by a hundred blocks fast I mean like yeah so basically how you use it is you track all someone's on two track all still on two track all and he's only on one then um for that one block if he isn't on this one anymore when you go to this and he's still on here then you can just vanilla track on here whichever arm that he's still on until you get his exact coordinate watch the previous video if you want to know how to vanilla track and then go back here and vanilla track for the other arm and then you have his coordinates um you're supposed to temp track sometimes i do but i usually have my teammates do that some ways and i'm bad at it and it's very hard to explain how to do and i just don't feel like going into depth with it um and calculating the chords would be the same as vanilla tracking once again um i'll put a link in the description possibly of the last video you can just check my channel for it and um yeah guys thanks for watching that's the end of episode two next episode i'll be making a vertical stack tracker and yeah guys thanks for watching see you.